Hey there, Mr. Sutton here, bringing you the Pre-Cal Honors 4-6 Part 2 Homework Solutions on Exponential Equations with a focus on the log method. For number 4, we're trying to solve the equation 4e to the x equals 61. Um, common bases probably aren't going to work very well in this one. We're going to need logarithms. But first, let's divide both sides by 4 to get the exponential term by itself. So we have e to the x equals 61 over 4. And now we're going to log both sides. Um, now, because this is e, it's usually better to use ln in that case, because when you pop out that x, you'll have an ln of e, which is really just 1. Um, so you'll just end up with x equals ln of 61 over 4. And now we will need the calculator for this. So let's do ln, and then we've got 61 divided by 4. Comes out to about 2.72 if we round that off to the nearest hundredth. For this problem, I'm trying to solve for x. To make my life a little bit easier, I'm just going to simplify the left side so that I have a single exponent of 11 to the 5 times x. And there's no common base that I can figure out between 11 and 8,675, so I'm going to use logarithms instead. Taking the log of both sides, I've got 5x log 11 on the left side, and log of 8675 on the right. To solve for x now, I'm just going to divide by everything that's not x. So I'll have log 8675 over 5 log 11. And if you're going to do this on a calculator without the fancy fraction form, you're going to need a parentheses around the 5 and the log 11. Um, I'm going to show you both ways. So first, let's do fancy fraction form. Alpha y equals and n over d. So I've got log 86.75 up top, and on the bottom I've got 5 log 11. And pressing enter, that comes out to about 0.76. Now to get this answer without using the fancy fraction form, you need log of 86.75, close the parentheses, divided by, and now to get all of this stuff in the division part of this, I need a parentheses 5 log of 11 and close two parentheses, and that'll end up giving us the same answer of 0.76. If you don't put this parentheses down here without the fancy fraction form, your calculator will mess up the PEMDAS and give you a different answer. So this is the answer you should get if you've done it correctly. For this problem, I'm trying to solve for x. Uh, I can't really use the common base method on this one, but I can use logarithms. So I'm going to log both sides and pop out this x. So I have x log of 1.06 on the left side equals log of 3 on the right side. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log of 1.06. And x equals whatever this equals on my calculator. So doing log of 3 over log of 1.06, I end up with 18.85 if I round to two decimal places. On this problem, uh, this looks a little bit messy here. Probably can't use the common base method. There's no easy common base between 4 and 105. Um, so I'm going to have to somehow use logarithms on this. To make my life easier, I'm going to rewrite this left side using a fractional exponent. So I'm going to write this as 4 to the x over 7. And now I can take the log of both sides and solve it that way. So on the left side, I'm going to have x over 7 get, getting popped out next to the log of 4. On the right side, I've got the log of 105. And then rearranging to solve for x, multiply both sides by 7 and divide by log of 4. So I have 7 log 105 over log of 4. Let me do that on the calculator now. Just to make things a little neater, I'm going to do alpha y equals and use my fancy fraction form here. So I have 7 log of 105 divided by log of 4. And pressing enter. I get 23.50 if I round off to two decimal places. For number 5, um, I'm not sure if this is a power of 5, so I'm just going to go ahead and use logarithms on this. Now, a few options before we do that. We have to do something with this 11th power. Um, one option is to try to take the 11th root of both sides. That's already going to give you a decimal over here, so I'm not sure if we want to go decimal that early, um, but it's an option. I'm going to merge the x and the 11 together, so this will be 5 to the 11x. This is another option. It's got its own pitfalls, but this is the way I'm doing it. 
Um, so at this point, I'm going to take the log of both sides. That's going to pop out the 11x out in front. So we'll have 11x log 5 equals log 8,675. At this point, to get x by itself, I need to divide by both the log 5 and the 11. Um, so this log 8675 is going to be over 11 log 5. And at this point, we're going to go to the calculator. So I've entered log of 8,675 in my calculator. Um, now, before you just go ahead and do divided by 11 times log of 5, we have to be careful with order of operations. If you want to divide by both of these things, rather than just dividing by 11 and then multiplying the whole thing by log of 5, um, you need a parentheses here. So this would be 11 and then log of 5. Close the parentheses, and there's our answer of 0.51. For the exponential equation of number 6, looking at what we have to work with here, we have a 101 and a 17. Um, there's no way common basis is going to work for this. So we're going to need logarithms. Before that, though, we're going to need to make this exponent look a little nicer. Um, so on the left side, let's rewrite this as 101 to the, now we've got a few things going on here. We have x over 4, if we put that in fractional exponent form. And since this is in the denominator, we need to make, make that a negative x over 4. Um, so now I've got 101 to a single easy exponent. Well, not easy, but it's an exponent. So now we'll log both sides. We'll have negative x over 4 log 101 on the left and log 17 on the right. Rearranging things now. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 4 and divide by log of 101. So we'll have negative 4 log of 17, all of that over log of 101. And when I enter this in the calculator, um, I don't have to worry about parentheses. Since I'm multiplying multiple things in the numerator, the calculator will just take care of that on its own. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So I've got negative 4 log of 17 divided by log of 101 which comes out to negative 2.46. For this problem, I'm trying to solve 19 times 3 to the x equals 2. I'll start by isolating the exponential term. So dividing by 19, I've got 3 to the x equals 2 over 19. And now that I've got this exponential term by itself, I'm going to pop that x out using my log rules. And I can't use common basis here because I'm not sure what power of 3 2 19ths is. So just using logarithms, I've got x log 3 on the left side equals log of 2 over 19 on the right side. Now to get x by itself, I just divide both sides by log of 3. So I've got log of 2 19ths over log of 3, which I definitely need the calculator for. So to make all this a little bit easier, I'm going to do alpha y equals and then this n over d to get my fancy fraction form here. Up top, I've got the log of, and I'll do another fancy fraction now, log of 2 19ths. And I could use parentheses, but this helps me keep track of things a little bit better. And now down below, I've got log of 3, and close that parentheses, equals, this will be negative 2.05 if I round it to two decimals, 